Hi guys, Cynthia here for my, my week 18 gastric sleeve surgery update. So we are December 27th and um, I realized that I completely forgot to do my four months uh, video update, <laughs> probably because it was on December 23rd and it was just before Christmas. I don't know, I completely forgot and you know, I think also... I didn't see the time go by. I can't believe it's been a month again. So it's four months post-op gastric sleeve surgery. So here I go with the numbers. At the beginning of my journey, my highest recorded weight was 280 pounds. The day of surgery, uh, this was in December 2012. Uh, the day of surgery, August 23rd, 2013. Uh, my weight was 238 pounds, and today I am 196. I just love the one, you know, 196, 100, 196 pounds. I, I know, I'm silly. Uh, so it's a one pound loss since last week, and you know what? I'm very happy about it because honestly, I'm a slow loser. And last week I've lost four pounds and the week before I've lost three pounds, which is seven pounds in two weeks. This is not usual for me. I'm a slow loser, so I was expecting maybe to stay the same this week or gain one pound. And I, lo I lost one, so I'm very, very happy about this. So 196, 196 pounds, one pound loss since last week, 84 pounds total since um, December 2012, so in one year I've lost 84 pounds, and since surgery it's 42 pounds. So it's still going um, smoothly, I'm, um, I'm so grateful about my weight loss so far because I never had any real stall or gains or so, you know, sometimes even if you do everything you have to do, you gain or uh, you don't lose. I see that all the time when I watch videos, so I'm, I'm grateful that I did not experience uh, a stall so far or a gain, even worse. So, um, yeah, very happy about that. So, be, uh, because it was my uh, monthly update that I missed, but I'm going to kind of mix it with today's video, I took my measures... Um, yesterday and I'm just gonna give you a couple ones first of all my um, IMC was um, 48 uh, at the beginning of this journey and today my IMC is a third my uh, buddy how do you say it in English buddy man buddy mass no BMI BMI my BMI IMC that's in French EMC my BMI, sorry guys, about my bad English. My BMI was 48 at the beginning and now it's 33.5. So uh, a healthy BMI is between 18 and 25. So I see the 25 coming slowly and I'm, I'm, I'm proud uh, that I'm not, you know, over 40, 40 anymore. Uh, I'm not obese, morbidly obese anymore. I'm, I think I'm still obese though, but, uh, not, I, you know, I got rid of the, uh, morbidly obese. So that's good. So I see the 25 coming, which is a very good news for me. I can't wait to get below 30 and it's going to come soon. I hope. So measurements, um, my, my arm here, uh, since the beginning of, since uh, August 14, which was uh, just before my pre-op diet, I've lost three inches and a half here. I've lost um, the chest or the breast, I lost four inches. Uh, at the waist, I lost six inches. At the belly button, seven inches. At the hips, believe it or not, I've lost eight inches, and the thigh four inches. So um, it's pretty amazing. And you know, I was I was um, I was taking the metro, the subway last week, and I realized that you know that that tourniquet. I don't know how you call it. Um, um, <laughs> when you want to enter the metro, you put your ticket, and there's that uh, metal 
stick that's turning like this. How do you call it? I don't know. In French, it's a tourniquet. Well, anyways, uh, you know, when I used to pass in the tourniquet, my hips used to touch on each side, and now I don't even touch at all. So uh, eight inches is pretty big. Uh, it's a big loss. So you have to measure yourself. Uh, sometimes, you know, the scale is telling the truth, but not all the truth. Uh, I think when you measure yourself, then you can visualize exactly how big it is that you lost. And eight inches at the hips, it's for me. And eight inches is big. So, um, and I, I can feel it, you know, when I sit in the metro, you know, I don't, I don't take like one place and a half like I used to. Um, when I go to a theater, a anywhere where the seats are tight, they're not tight anymore. So this is a big victory for me because I hated to go uh, to see a show or a movie where the seats were so small. I, I was not, uh, I, I couldn't sit there and, and be, uh, you know, it wasn't comfy at all. And um, I have a funny uh, non-scale victory funny NSV this week. Uh, my teenager was 18 years old now. She used to wear, uh, you know, baby fat bling bling clothes and she doesn't wear that anymore. She, that was when she was like 15 years old. Now she's completely changed her style. She's a sport chick now. Um, but uh, she uh, gathered all the clothes that she's not wearing anymore to give it away. And... Um, I was vacuuming and I saw the bag in the corner and I looked at what, what she put in there and I saw her old baby fat winter coat, winter jacket. And I don't know why, I felt appealed to try it on even if I never thought I would fit in it. Because my daughter, she's like five, uh, five foot seven, I think, and she's like 145. She's not big at all. She's just perfect. So um, I never expected that I could fit in that jacket. And I'm going to show you the jacket. Okay, don't laugh, okay? Because I know my, my daughter was saying, if you want it, take it. Yeah, right. I'm 43 years old. I'm going to wear that jacket. It's like a bling bling hip hop baby fat jacket. And I would look like a, you know, mommy wannabe or something. So this is the jacket. If you see it, it's so small. Can you believe I fit in that and I can zip it and it's not even tight. I'm going to post as a the picture of this video. I'm going to put the photo of me in that coat. You're going to believe it because me, I have to look at the picture to believe it because for me, I look at this coat and look, it's so small. It's like, it looks like it's for a kid. So yeah, I fit in my daughter's baby fat jacket. That's unbelievable. Unfortunately, it's not my style. I'm not gonna keep it and wear it, but because I need a winter jacket and I don't have money. Um, other non-scale victory. Yesterday, my older daughter uh, who lives in Ottawa because she's going to Ottawa University. I did not realize that we didn't see each other for that long, but the last time I saw her, I was in my pre-op diet before my surgery. I thought I saw her after, but no, she's right. Uh, that was the last time. And she came yesterday to, you know, for Christmas dinner and um, like she barely recognized me when I opened the door and she said, you're not my mom, I don't know you. <laughs> because, um, yeah, apparently, you know, she saw the pictures on Facebook and, you know, I send her pictures all the time. But uh, to see me in person, she was shocked. Really, she was shocked. She was looking at me like, Mom, is that you? So uh, that was uh, pretty funny. And other than that, um, well, I decided to uh, put my project aside for uh, the Christmas period. Well, between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Well, January 2nd, we'll say. Um, because I was working in that project very uh, intensively since the last... Well, since August or no, September, um, and I was tired and I felt like I was, you know, um, going around without, um, I don't know, I needed a break. My brain needed a break and I decided to give me that break. 
since uh, I will have another two, almost two weeks, 13 days from January 1st, let's say 12 days to work on it um, after New Year's uh, celebration. So I thought that I deserve a vacation like everybody else. I don't have money. I cannot go anywhere, but you know, I can rest. I can watch movies in my pajamas all day if I want. I can just go for a walk. I can see some friends. I'm just giving myself a break because, you know, I'm human and sometimes I'm too hard on myself with work. Uh, I'm kind of a workaholic and I have to change that in my life and be uh, have more um, balance uh, between um, my my work working life and personal life. I'm a, I'm the type of person, um, you know. I'm I, I I'm a I'm passionate in everything I do, so I have a tendency to overdo. So this is something I'm gonna have to work on, and yeah. So I decided to give me give myself a little vacation between Christmas and New Year's. So, I'm just taking it very easy. I don't have any, you know, family celebrations or anything because I couldn't go. Uh, my family lives about six hours from here and I had no budget to go this year. I'm gonna go later. But, um, yeah, so it's good. I, I'm, I'm just relaxing, taking it easy. I play music, I listen to music, watching movies. Seeing some friends, uh, very, very quiet. And this is exactly what I needed. And uh, my daughter who lives with me, she's uh, gone to her dad's. And then after, she's going to Walt Disney World for a week. And she's going to be back on January 8th. So the first week of January is going to be my big um, week for... Uh, preparing my presentation. And my daughter is not going to be here, so it's going to be perfect. I'm going to... Uh, give it all I have in during that week and uh, yeah so it's nice to to be uh, on a vacation and just like give my brain a break of work and you know thinking about how, how I'm gonna do this and uh, marketing and everything that I have to think about in my website and uh, it's good to have a break so um, other than that yeah, that's about it. It's pretty quiet. I'm happy with my um, weight loss. I'm still uh, on track. I didn't eat anything bad during the holiday uh, season. Like, anyways, I had I didn't have any family or party dinner, uh, whatever you know, food occasions uh, like I could have. Uh, I stayed quiet at home. I had dinner with my daughter yesterday, and I've I've. Uh, cooked some um, chicken with um, sweet potato fries but in the oven with just a little bit of olive oil and uh, yeah so I, I didn't eat uh, more than I used to and uh, I'm very grateful that I lost that one pound so that's about it guys I don't have anything special I'm just relaxing I'm taking it easy today I might uh, well, I'm probably going to walk today. I went to walk with my daughter yesterday. It was very funny because she doesn't like to walk. She's not a sport uh, lover and she's um, a bit lazy. Sorry, honey, but that's the truth. And she doesn't like to walk. She doesn't like to go to the gym. Anyways, I kind of forced her to go for a walk. I said, well, it's Boxing Day. I live right by a commercial um, street with stores and everything. I said, come on, we're gonna go for a walk and we're gonna go shopping together and see if there's, you know, great discounts. I had no money to spend, but you know, just for the being in the action. So we walked about 30 minutes and she was exhausted and she was a little bit upset because she said, you know, we walked for too long. And, but I was happy because it was pretty cold, but we made it. We, we walked for 30 minutes and today it's warmer. It's uh, a bit sunny, it's changing, but uh, it's a good good weather to go for a walk. And I might go see some friends, and yeah, I'm just uh, taking it as it goes. So, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're having a nice holiday, uh, a nice Christmas time with your family and friends and, and, and you know, uh, 
I'm just hoping everybody's doing fine and not struggling too much with food. I'm lucky because, you know, I don't have any parties. So it's easy for me to stay on track because there's nothing in my fridge um, different than usual. So I'm staying on track and um, I hope you can manage as well. I know it can be pretty tough. Uh, when we have family dinners, sometimes you're invited, so you don't choose what you eat. So I'm hoping that you are uh, doing fine with all these, um, you know, holiday dinners and parties and everything. And don't drink too much because you know there's so much sugar in alcohol. I don't, I don't touch alcohol anymore. Uh, anyways, uh, with my uh, acid reflux, I don't think it would be a good match. So, um, since I had my surgery, I did not have one drop of alcohol. So I know during, uh, the Christmas time, it's so easy to drink too much, but there's so many calories in alcohol. So be careful with alcohol, even if sometimes it's good to drink a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do because you know, the only time I used to, uh, love to drink, it was on New Year's Eve. I always bought my bottle of champagne. I don't know what I'm going to do because we're not supposed to drink anything carbonated, anything that's sparkling. So um, I don't know what I'm going to replace it. I love champagne. No idea. Maybe I'm going to have uh, just uh, some orange juice this year. I don't know. So uh, take care. I hope uh, you're having a great time and I will try to watch more videos. I'm trying to... Uh, take this time of a vacation to catch up on your videos and uh, I hope I'm gonna have time to watch everything I want to watch so take care of yourself I'm just blah blahing now and it's been 17 minutes so I'm gonna let you go and um, have a good week and I'll try to make uh, an extra video this week uh, if it's possible because I never know what's going to happen and I never know when I'm going to leave or see friends or whatever. I'm on vacation, guys. So take care. Bye.